Hi everyone and welcome to your daily devotional for Saturday, May 2nd, 2020. My name is Lee Benish and I am the pastor of Hill United Presbyterian Church in Butler, Pennsylvania. And my hope is that this video will give you a few moments where you can take a break and be in God's word and in prayer. Our prayers today come from a resource called Holy Women, Holy Men, Celebrating the Saints. It is a publication of the Episcopal Church. Take a moment and take a deep breath calm yourself, and let us prepare to worship God. We begin by turning to Psalm 23, and this reading and all of the readings today come from the Common English Bible Translation. Listen now for God's word to us. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He lets me rest in grassy meadows. He leads me to restful waters. He keeps me alive. He guides me in proper paths for the sake of his good name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they protect me. You set a table for me right in front of my enemies. You bathe my head in oil. My cup is so full it spills over. Yes, goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the Lord's house as long as I live. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, our strength, a true love of your holy name, so that trusting in your grace, we may fear no earthly evil, nor fix our hearts on earthly goods, but may rejoice in your full salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever we pray. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from Ezekiel, chapter 34, verses 1 through 16. Listen for God's word. The Lord's word came to me, human one, prophesy against Israel's shepherds. Prophesy and say to them, the Lord God proclaims to the shepherds doom to Israel's shepherds who tended themselves. Shouldn't shepherds tend the flock? You drink the milk, you wear the wool, you slaughter the fat animals, but you don't tend the flock. You don't strengthen the weak, heal the sick, bind up the injured, bring back the strays or seek out the lost but instead you use force to rule them with injustice. Without a shepherd, my flock was scattered. And when it was scattered, it became food for all the wild animals. My flock strayed on all the mountains and on every high hill throughout all the earth. My flock was scattered and there was no one to look for them or find them. So now shepherds, Hear the Lord's word. This is what the Lord God says. As surely as I live, without a shepherd, my flock became prey. My flock became food for all the wild animals. My shepherds didn't seek out my flock. They tended themselves, but they didn't tend my flock. So shepherds hear the Lord's word. The Lord God proclaims, I'm against the shepherds. I will hold them accountable for my flock, and I will put an end to them tending the flock. The shepherds will no longer tend them, because I will rescue my flock from their mouths, and they will no longer be their food. The Lord God proclaims, I myself will search for my flock and seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out the flock, when someone in the flock has been scattered, so will I seek out the flock. I will rescue them from all the places where they were scattered during the time of cloud and thick darkness. I will gather and lead them out from the countries and peoples, and I will bring them to their own fertile land. I will feed them on Israel's highlands, along the riverbeds and in all the inhabited places. I will feed them in good pasture, and their sheepfold will be there 
on Israel's lofty highlands. On Israel's highlands, they will lie down in a secure fold and feed on green pastures. I myself will feed my flock and make them lie down. This is what the Lord God says. I will seek out the lost, bring back the strays, bind up the wounded and strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy because I will tend my sheep with justice. In this story, the shepherds to which God is referring are the religious leaders. God is calling them out for only caring for themselves and not for the people who they are leading. The same responsibility falls on each of us, regardless of the role we play in the church, to care for our flock. How have you been caring for members of our faith community? Our New Testament reading today comes from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 15, verses 1 through 7. Listen once again for God's word. All the tax collectors and sinners were gathering around Jesus to listen to him. The Pharisees and legal experts were grumbling, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Jesus told this parable. Suppose someone among you had 100 sheep and lost one of them. Wouldn't he leave the other 99 in the pasture and search for the lost one until he finds it? And when he finds it, he is thrilled and places it on his shoulders. When he arrives home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Celebrate with me, because I found my lost sheep. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who changes both heart and life than over 99 righteous people who have no need to change their hearts and lives. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This parable reminds us that no matter how far we try to run from God, God will always search us out and try to have a relationship with us. Have you ever tried to flee? Did God find you? Let us pray. O oh God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers that by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever we pray. Amen. Friends, may the God of peace be with you this day and every day. I hope you will join us for worship tomorrow, either on Facebook Live or on Zoom. Take care of yourselves. Be well.